This could well be the most anticipated professional golf match ever. Guys, today I have a full set of Costco Kirkland Signature Golf Clubs. We have the wedges, we have the brand new irons that have only just been released, hollow bodied $499 full set of irons with, you guessed it, a forged face. These look incredible. Full review on the channel now, guys, so make sure you do go and check that out. Also, a full review on the driver. Not to mention, we also have the putter, which came out a couple of years ago now. This isn't new, the KS1 putter. As you can see, this has done some damage over the years. So we're a full set of Kirkland golf clubs that, let's be fair, will set you back a little bit less than potentially just a new set of irons nowadays. What will two golf pros score around the gorgeous Woolley Park Golf Club in fairly wintry conditions. Well, today I take on my arch nemesis, my big rival, and I have, actually, funnily enough, Kirkland golf balls as well. So, guys, comment below. Is this going to affect the level of golf that we're going to play? Let's get teed off, and then I'll introduce you to the chap that we're playing against. It's big money, and it's a big rivalry. Look at this four iron. Oh. That was a toey strike off the bat, but I think forgiveness-wise, that's generally going to be okay. Time to introduce you to who we're playing against. Can you see his reflection in these gorgeous mirrored clubs? It's of course Gaz. Gaz, how are you? I'm back. I'm good, thanks. And I can't wait to try these out. What are your thoughts? Because it's a really interesting, like, especially now having the full bag, huge shout out to Gabe from Let's Play Through because he sent me these to test. And I mean, to fill the set up, I think it looks quite cool. I just think that, you know, for that price, it's fantastic. It is ridiculous, I can't believe isn't quality it? there. No. Let's see how you get on with hitting them. You can't buy irons for that price anymore, can no, you? No, you can't. Like, second-hand-wise, you can. And I'm going to do some videos comparing them to second-hand clubs, which could be interesting. I mean, grips fit proper lampkin grips. KBS. Oh, no, they have a late shafts, aren't they? Oh, how good have you hit that, by the way? That came off like a rocket. I might be in trouble here, you know. You've absolutely ripped that one. That has come off like a rocket. And like you said, components-wise, obviously it's kind of a forged hollow-bodied face, but we do have an elevate shaft, which are in the Callaway clubs, actually, and a nice lampkin grip. So wait till you see the drive. You haven't hit the drive yet, have you? That grip feels fantastic, by the way. Yeah? Should we get down there and uh, continue? Yeah. Oh, are you carrying it? Oh, I've got my own little caddy. <laughs> well, so guys, it. do me a favour. Again, in the comments below. What do you think to these Costco golf clubs. It was a long time coming. The rumors are true. They are out. And I think, I, what I love is I love the fact that there are brands out there now, Kirkland, Tacoma, Cali, that all want to make golf a little bit more accessible, that are making golf a little bit more attainable for the everyday person with, let's face it, decent quality products. I actually like the look of them. Yeah? I think they look good. Do you I know? Think, so just stop a minute, because I think like that, that Kirkland logo in, it's in a straight, like it looks a bit high up on there, like to me. I don't know if maybe they could have put it lower down and maybe put it here, but I mean, we're, we're clutching at straws, aren't we? I guess saying? it's all down to taste, but I like that. Yeah? I like that simplicity of just, yeah, they've kept it clean looking, I think. There you go. Right, so I have my tee shot in the fairway. Guys, yours is further up. Yours is 10 yards further up there, and it's pitched there. Mine's run out to here. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with the eight iron actually and i'll be amazed to see because these are designed to be quite forgiving as you can tell looking at them but i want to see just how maybe versatile they are as well because i'm not sure what market these are for like they're not going to be for the scratch golfer are they? they're not going to be for the established golfer honestly you've read my mind i was just looking at the club and thinking who are they actually aiming this club at because i like the club but then i'm looking at it thinking you know, it's got a good thick top line. Yeah. It's come off like a bullet, that first shot. So it's forgiving. Are you a Costco member, guys? I'm not, but I might be soon. <laughs> <laughs> Blade length on the eight iron looks a little bit long, but... Stay there. Yeah. Stay there. Stay there. Carry. Oof. I think that could be all right, that. So although there's lots of offset on there, I quite like I could kind of peel that in and fade it in a little bit. It's just carried the bunker, so it might not be on the green, but it might well be a chance at a bird. Are you going same club? Yeah, I'm going to hit same, little eight. I'm not going to hit it full. What are your thoughts looking kind of down at this as a blade line? I think it's a bit long, but... I mean, my first impression is that thick, that top line yeah. for a scratch golfer, it's a little thick, but it, it might not be a scratch golfer. I don't think they're aiming this nah, at a scratch golfer, so. are they? They're aiming it at... Potentially a new golfer. It could be. But it's not It's not offensive enough to put me off. I mean, I could definitely play with them. Yeah. Definitely. 
I like Ooh. that line. Bit of club. Oh, wow. Oh, that's close. You're not going to like that one. Wow. It Did felt you, solid, though. I was going to say, was that a good hit or was that a bit of a miss hit that no, you got away with? No, it, it were a knockdown hit. It weren't a full shot, but it didn't explode off face. You know, like some hollow clubs you would expect. Oh, the, the old school P790s, the original ones. Yeah, it yeah. felt like I'd got control with that shot. It, I didn't get like a flyer or anything like that, which yeah. is, is what you want, isn't it? And what's really interesting for me is that there's a kind of big um, fuss at the moment about these clubs because they're new out and they keep dropping little drops of them, which I think is very, very clever. Eventually, like the golf ball, they'll be everywhere. There'll be yeah. stacks and stacks of them. Everyone will be able to get them and it won't be as special. But that's when I think the people who are going like, you know what, I might take up golf. I'm a member at Costco. I go and do all my kind of supermarket shopping there. Oh, look, there's some clubs that are a good price. I'll just get them. Yeah. Rather than thinking, oh, I need to go and get fitted and get the shaft. Imagine if you start doing fittings there. Yeah, it's possible. Very possible, isn't it? Right, Gaz has played a world in and mine's just carried this bunker over here. Um, Time to get the wedges out. The wedges were really impressive for me. I really, really enjoyed these. For the price, you could get three wedges for the price of one Vokey wedge. Very, very good value. It's a decent nice. chip. It's a decent enough chip. He's given me a swift left and a quick right with the Kirkland irons. I saw this putter earlier and uh, it's 303 stainless, isn't it? Yeah. So, you know, for you guys that don't want that means, it's a very good quality steel and it, it oozes in looking quality as well. Oozes? Can for, it ooze in a birdie on the third? But you know when you buy like a £120 putter? Yeah. You don't expect it to be like made from best materials, No, not do you? anymore. You used to probably be able to get one, didn't you? But not now. Can you still buy these? Yeah, yeah. You can buy the full set. He has as well. Oh, wow. Birdie the first with the Costco's. Thank you very much for coming. What work question? Can you play good golf with him? Yeah. Well, what's the course record, Gaz asks. <laughs> oh, I wasn't enough. One of the things I'm impressed with is just like the bag appeal, you know, like... Yeah. I don't think it looks like a bad bag. Like, someone commented in my driver, you saying, I would never have that head cover in the bag. Yeah. I know, I mean, obviously, it's not... I think it's quite on trend here, really. Yeah, I mean, if you're a big fan of, like, toilet paper and ketchup and everything <laughs> else that Kirkland make, I don't see why you wouldn't have a Kirkland head cover in the bag anyway. If, if you didn't have... I love to see a tall player have a Kirkland head cover. Not necessarily the driver, but just the head cover. I think that's what it needs, though, doesn't it? Yeah, just, I mean, I think it's cool now. I think it is cool. I think people know it's cool, but... You get a top 20 player using it, and all of a sudden, Kirkland's, you know, the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Guys, comment below. How many of you here go to Costco? Be interested to know, because I, I go, I, like, we basically go for loo roll and then end up spending £15,000 on crap. <laughs> but we're saving money, apparently, so that's why we go. Uh, I'll let you have the honour, mate. Big dog. Uh, I think I'm going to poke a four iron down. What? I will get driver out though. You can tell someone's Today. gone one up through one, can't you? I am going big dog all day long. A missile launcher, this four iron. I've done it again. That is unreal, isn't it? That is a missile. Well, I'm going to go with big dog, and to be honest, I'm going to have to get all of this to be able to get down there where you are. So, ten and a half degrees, if you didn't see my review, I have lofted it down to nine and a half. I can't believe how well you've just hit that again. I know. You've not missed it a shot they yet. They give you confidence, so you know that thicker top line? Yeah. You sit it behind the ball and you're like, this is this is solid, this. This is gonna go. Uh, just $199 adjustable driver, this goes. Oh, that's a lovely oh, strike. How good is that? That sounded amazing. See, I think it sounds a bit tinny, but then I've sort of got more used to it the more I've hit it. I've hit it quite a lot because I've done a lot of comparisons, but the head cover is a bit tetchy. I can't wait to try that one. <sighs> They're not uh, skimping on components, are they? I'd love to see maybe, you know, like an even better shaft in there and see what that did. Yeah. Like, does it, is it adjustable or...? Yeah, adjustable head, but not a neck I've seen, but are you struggling yeah. to get the head cover off as well? <laughs> it is a bit tight. <laughs> I'd love to be that golfer that's not overly bothered about fittings, that don't obsess on the clubs. They just want to get, you know, a good value set of golf clubs and go yeah. and play golf yeah maybe go and play in a corporate day with your work or go and play with your friends yeah or get your family into it like i don't know how many people might be buying these for they don't do junior sets but for the kids for the wife for themselves they do kind of different shaft options and flex and stuff so you could potentially do that and i think it takes the pressure off doesn't it i just think we're so lucky to be able to come out and test clubs and do this because you know like you, they actually really do perform well don't they yeah i think i think well you for you yeah you're one you're one up can you tell he's birdie the first anyone? I wish I could have these clubs all the time. 
You just forget about like you're obsessing about your cousin. You just play golf, don't you? Yeah. Oh, where are we? I'm all the way down there. I'm deep. I'm deep. Oh yeah. I've... Chan says, right guys, decent tee shot. Distance wise, okay for you for a four. Yeah. Just place I mean, him, by the way, so you can clean it. If it gives some um, context, I hit a four off a forward tee on the same hole earlier, and I were only just here, so they've gone yeah. a long way, haven't they? What are we going with? Uh, I think I'm going to hit an eight again. Or should I hit a nine because they go further? Cold now. I mean, that's A1 for me with driver, isn't it? Eight, Position uh, A. Can you try it? Can I hit an eight on first? I'll hit a little eight. Just thinking about these birdies, aren't you? I'm actually not sure if this is too much, you know. I'm going to hit a big nine. If it comes up short, it comes up short. But well, yeah, we've got the Kirkland wedges to go after that, haven't they, we? So? They just look powerful. Yeah, they, know, do. Like, they that, do. That looks to me like a, a nine and a half almost. Yeah, loft wise, they're, they're pretty strong, aren't they, as well? Oh, wow. That could ease. I might have gone long, you know. It could have even gone long. Yeah. <laughs> it could just be very long. That might be absolutely massive, mate, to be fair. Sounded good, though. I'll leave that, I think. And I'll tell you a funny story as well, you know, about the Kirkland Ball. Yeah. So I spent some time earlier this year in the States with one of the biggest golf brands in the world. I'm not saying who, because they might come off not very good. But they said to me, what ball do you use? Because we're doing, like, ball testing and yeah. we're seeding a new ball for them. So what ball do you use? I said, oh, Kirkland, to be honest. Yeah. Like half jovially, but half I just I'll buy them and use them. Yeah. And the guy was like, "Why?" I was like, yeah. "Why?" It's a three-piece urethane ball that costs one pound a ball. And he was yeah. like, "Yeah, but it's a bit high spin." I'm like, "Mate, come on." Yeah. Like, how good do you have to be? Yeah. Because I can play with them and hit the fairway like that, and I might duff this next shot. I might not, but the chances are, it doesn't matter really, does it? Well, I mean, a lot of people need spin. That's what gives you control, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, what have we got here, do you reckon? I think it can, golf can become a bit too technical, can't it? It can become technical, and I also think, I mean, there'll be people in the comments who are probably agreeing with the guy saying, why would you use a Kirkland ball? There'll also be people in the comments like-minded, like me, like, yeah, I just want to use cheap balls that don't cost the world. But I suppose it depends how serious you really take your golf as well. Strike. Don't be long. He's Don't be long. Be good. Green. Take that slope. Come oh, on. Look at that. Come on. That's the spin. Oh, That's yeah. That's the spin you were talking about. Rather a steep divot, but I suppose it's that time of year, isn't it? Yeah. I think you could. it's not disparaging them by saying if you're the kind of golfer that's into your fittings, then they're probably not the club for you, are they? Because this is not yeah. what they're about. And in, and in fairness, Gaz has kind of hit the nail on the head there where we don't want to disparage anyone who does take the golf seriously. And if you, you are a kind of person who wants to make sure they go and get every little in intricacy in their set right, there's nothing wrong with that. I actually wish I was a little bit more like that. Well, I, I'm the opposite, you see. I am into all that tech and getting fitted and using the right yeah, ball yeah. And, and getting right numbers. But I do sometimes wish I were this golfer. That's going to be a little bit further away than what it looks. It's going to be long, but yeah, absolutely, I agree with you. I do wish I were this golfer that could just here, don't go forward over. be a bit more relaxed and just enjoy playing golf. Yeah. Right, so I'm left with that. We'll go with the putter. Gaza's long right, so it just kind of went over the flag a bit, didn't it? He's gone from where we were stood right over the top, and I was going to hit an eight. Oh, stop, 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 stop. That is a great shot. Great shot. Oh, the mill faces these, aren't they? Yeah. Can you get me back? Have you not tested the Costco stuff yet? I've not. Do you know what? I don't think, apart from the golf ball, which I do play with a ball, uh, I've not, not even hit a, gol a Costco golf club. Surprises me, that. Yeah, I we're looking forward to seeing these ones, though. These are the first irons. Yeah. That I've Because they always do package sets and that, don't they? Come on. I don't think I've seen a set of irons before, unless I'm wrong. Oh, it just didn't break. It was the right pace, wasn't it? I always knew they did packs of wedges and putters. I'll give you that. I'll give you that, son. That was the chance to get back in. That was the chance. We're basically going to play till it's dark, so I don't know how many holes we'll get in, but that was a, that was a big chance, wasn't it? <laughs> it were. Oh, thank you. But it's winter golf, isn't it? You know, it's a bit of a potluck sometimes. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. 
really interesting story as well because you like a little bit of wheeling and dealing, don't you, Del Boy? Yeah. But they they were trading on eBay for like double were they really initially, were? yeah. Probably not so now because there's more coming out. But How double. Did you get one of these membership cards? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, mate. Par three, one hundred and forty. I'm going to go nine. Yeah, nine, I'm thinking nine because powerful, aren't they? Yeah. These would be great if anybody's struggling with distance. Yeah, I they? think they probably would. I mean, and you look at even so the seven iron, which we've not looked at yet. The seven iron, I think, is a really, really nice shape. The blade length's fairly long. You can see there's lots of kind of surface area where the toe is there, but not too thick a sole, and certainly not too thick a top line. Seven. No, no, I was just showing them the seven. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm going to go with a seven. I'll go in nine, like you. You might be going wedge when you see this, if it goes through back. And this goes over the farmer's field. <laughs> oh, it's just a bit left. Just a touch. Might have just missed green there. You're going to be chipping again, mate. I know. I've got too many pockets at this time of year. You know, like when you're just looking in all your pockets? Yeah, you can't find all. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to I'm going to go in the middle of the green. Are you? Yeah, you're not getting up and down there. No way. Did it feel maybe lie angle related that shot or just a bad shot? No, I just think that was completely me. I'm not blaming the club at all. That's a scabby one, isn't it? Well, it's, it's on certainly it. middle at green. But that's where, like, if that's a blade, it's not really launching. That, that's done okay, hasn't it? Yeah. I bet you've not lost much distance either. I think that's going to be 20 feet, just short, like middle of the green, right hand yeah. side. So. Uh, yeah, you take that. Like, this is where I think people are going to want to have the forgiveness. You're not going to have the best shots all the time. And a lot of people want to see me test this with people with maybe a slower swing speed. So we'll do that as well. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. Do you know what? I think this might suit the golf with a slower club speed more than the yeah. suit in us. Yeah, I mean, these are designed to help you get the ball airborne, aren't they? That's yeah. number one. And obviously designed to help you not waste a lot of money. So that's number two. Number three, he's rolling a birdie, putting against guys, getting level, and then birdieing the next few to win the match. <laughs> <laughs> That's with a bad nine iron. One point you were just saying, guys, was about the, the lofts of the wedge. So, like, the wedge might be quite a strong lofted. You need to think about that, don't you? Whereas if you look at the three sets of wedges, 52, 56, 60, which you can get, if you want to match that, but then the pitching wedge is, like, 45, that's a big gap, so something to think about. I'm going to roll that in, guys. Do you get up and down from there? I'm going to have to. What are you going with, lob wedge? Uh, do you know what? I'm it's, it's, 52. Got, it's, it's got a really nice wide sole. Go on, then. I'll try that lob wedge. That's one thing which I really like about the wedges, though. They are really forgiving. Like, you look at the size of the sole on them, they are absolutely massive. So that does really, really help. I uh, need the putter, though. Get up. Oh, I've got him. I've got him. Ah, I need it 52. <laughs> He's done there. You have to go online on Costco.net uh, and see if they do uh, online club selection lessons. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay. Tester. Oh, oh it snuck by. <laughs> snuck by. Kind of wish I hadn't have gone at that full pelt now, but. Yeah, solid. Well done. Come on! Okay, back level in the match. Driver, guys, this is time. Drivable par four, potentially over that corner if you can get the launch and the ball speed, to be honest. It's about a 260 carry, realistically. The hole says 306, but it's not really. I'm not going to be shying away here. Going straight for it. You've not even hit this yet, have you? No. Wow. That's good, it's a little bit left, it's like the safe line, but that's where you want to strike it. You look at the kind of strike location on here, I've said this in all my reviews of it, you want to get just high toe, otherwise it's a little bit high spin, so yeah. if you can do that. I'll be lucky just to hit the bloody club, <laughs> never mind high toe. Yeah, so mine went just kind of there, and ideally you'd go there, so chipping a putt for birdie, hopefully. You know where that flag is, it's tight right, isn't it? It's quite a traditional looking head, isn't it? Yeah, like looking down, I think it looks a bit like, remember the Callaway Maverick? Yeah. It's got a carbon weave on top, so. A lot of brands are going back to that simple looking top. Yeah, they you are, know, yeah. They're black, aren't they? I didn't expect that. 
I didn't expect that baby draw. Yeah. I mean, it's safe as houses. It's a really good tee shot, but... It's, it's a very, very safe line. Yeah. Um, but I'll tell you what, for a... I mean, can we call it a budget driver? Yeah, $199. It, it felt really good. Yeah? It felt great. And so, I love the sound of that. I think, personally, it's a little bit... T like, if you hit that, and then a Titleist, and then that, and then a Titleist, like I did do earlier, and tested them, it's, it's not really... Good. What do people like, though? Do they like it solid, or do they like it tinny? Because I like the tin. I like I suppose, a little bit of tinny. Yeah, it's subjective, isn't it, I suppose? Yeah. Right, let's get down there. I'm hoping I'm like nearly on the green so I can just roll one down and roll it in. Gaz is going to have about a 60 yard pitch with a Kirkland wedge, funnily enough. Right, it's starting to look very eerie, Gaz. There's some smoke from like a farmer's field over there. So, uh, yours is, where's yours? Yours is right up there. And mine is there. So, a little bit closer, like I said. It looked like a good line off the tee, but you just know that you have to be 40 yards right. You must right have got there. good eyes. I can't even see a ball yet. Really? It's there. There. I need to go to Specsavers. <laughs> hey, Costco's got opticians. Have they really? <laughs> yeah. No way. Yeah, they have, yeah. <laughs> You're taking me. No, I'm not on his way. <laughs> really? So distance-wise, I'd say these are pretty similar. Like, mine's a better line off the tee. But... And you know what? I tested it against the Titleist earlier, and the video is online now already. But when you get that bang out the middle, it goes. Does it? Yeah. Big shot. He's been up. Now he's level. Will he go down? Well, I'm going to hit 52 this time. And he's uh, certainly not full one. Oh, fly! Pulled it a bit. That is poor, really, from that distance. Yeah. I think you, you, you might, your big let off there might be the distance. If you flag high, it won't be too bad. But Do you know what, though? It's nothing to do with the golf club. I no. can honestly say, you know, you, we all know only a bad shot. Yeah. The feeling of the club felt right. Is that 52, Alan? That was 52, yeah. Thank you. Um, and they look great to put down, we don't We can all they? duff a wedge, mate, can't we? Well, they weren't quite a duff. Let's not go that far. <laughs> We've all duffed a wedge, Gaz, don't worry. The big, the big question is, is that three putt territory or is it not in winter greens? Oh, we're going to knock that in. Uh, you could literally use any club here, couldn't you? Yeah. With milling in face, though, why wouldn't you use 52? Yeah, because you don't want it to check up, though, here. You want it to run down and release, don't you? Well, maybe you need a wedge, then. We'll go with this. Oh, like that looked really good in the air. Do you know what? It? I think that's bad club selection. Yeah. I'm going to say it because we them wedges do zip up, don't yeah, they? Yeah, it's stopped on me that. And the ball as well, like that wedge and ball combo, you do get a bit of razzmatazz. I so. made that mistake with 60 a minute ago. At least it's 10 feet, not 40. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know what's happening here. Now, I, you all that, and you're going to replay what I've just said about wedge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to hold that now. Don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> You'll never be a caddy, mate, would you? Greens are so big, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> See, isn't that amazing how you were so disappointed with your shot, yeah. but then looking at it realistically, yeah. not that much further away than me, even the man was bang on line. It's just the distance, isn't it, that's yeah. helped? I just didn't want to get too tight to that flag in case I went long. There's one thing I can say, I'm having actual fun playing with these clubs. Yeah. You know, I'm having fun playing Apart with them. Apart from the company, it's a really nice time. <laughs> It is dropping dark though, unfortunately. We're going to be forced to go home soon because we'll not be able to see. No. Has he? Roll out. Has he? Oh, Gary, it's a great effort. Pick that up, mate. I'll give you that. The more I think about it, the more I think how that was a really bad wedge shot. You know, to be like, what am I, 20 feet here? Yeah. It's one of them though, like new clubs, they do take a bit of getting used to, don't they? I've reviewed these a lot, mate. It's not the clubs. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, it was more, it needed to run out. I've said myself it needed to run out. So why would you then take a shot that spins? This would be a sucker punch, wouldn't it? Oh, I kept quiet then when you said that. I thought I heard it. Keeping quiet again now, Here aren't I you? Here I am. <laughs> you <you've>, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's walking away at pace. <laughs> How many holes have we got left? I think we've probably got one, haven't we? 
Should we make it the final 18th hole? 18th hole? Yeah. This is what it comes down to, guys. Or do we sneak two more, five and six? We could sneak two. It's, it's going to be dark, though. What would the subscribers want? Guys, what do you want? It's dark. They want more, but maybe... <laughs> One more, but if we do half, it's an 18-hole match. Wow. Yeah? Or if we if we half, it's it's a sudden death. We'll, go, we'll go try and get another roll in. Oh, we're going to go to the 18th, though. That's what the bar is. Yeah, well, all right. We have to do an 18 all match. Yeah. I'm up for that. Right. I'm going to win, though, so... <laughs> right, so I did offer Gary the chance of playing the par three as well, the ninth. He declined that opportunity and said he wanted one one more hole. It were, so. it were in your best interest. I'm, well, it's up to you. I, I mean, I was literally just going to hit a seven iron to, like, three feet, roll it in and make birdie, and then... <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Uh, right, you can't really see now, but it's just over that bunker, isn't it? Try and get down there as far as we can. Uh, this is a, this will be a come from behind win when I birdie this. He likes it. It's not even landed yet. The thing is, it wasn't even a good hit. I, I keep talking about like face location. That was a low heely one, but it's forgiven enough and it's in play. Like the key there is it's in the fairway. Well, I feel like I've got no choice but to it driving now. Yeah, come on. And give it some. Why do you look so scared? I'm not. No, this is perfect. It's wide open. I'm going to go straight at them conifers. Yeah, that's the line. That noise. Ooh. <laughs> just one minute. Sorry. It, it's, they're just cutting trees down over there. Is it? It put me off. It were out on my backswing. What, do you want a big quiet please, Sam? <laughs> Nervy now, second time at the ball. I can't see. Could have hit it by now. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's a bit drawy. <laughs> what are you doing? No, this is perfect. It's wide open. Ah! Are you blaming the driver there? Oh, no, let's get in there early. Let's address it early. Blaming driver? Uh, Why well, would you? Is it the shaft? Do you feel the shaft was a bit... No, do you know what? I can't blame these clubs for anything today. Yeah? I generally can't. I think, you you know, you, you, you get what you see kind of thing. You get what you pay for. I think it's the big one, isn't it? Like, having tested them, you, well, the, the driver especially, you kind of get... You can get a really, really good... Uh, long drive out of it. You can also get one that isn't as forgiving as a TaylorMade or a Callaway or a Ping. But then you're not paying the money of TaylorMade, Ping or Callaway, so. I, I mean, obviously I haven't tested it against anything else, but you know, on a first glance, I think it's good. Yeah. You know, I can't say anything else than that. Yeah, let's go and get out of them bushes then now. And we'll... <laughs> right, the clock is ticking. There's a ball in the fairway there. No, we we're not ticking yet. We need to get up to it first. We don't know where we don't know where up is. It's past here. Oh, is that it there? <laughs> Gaz? What? No way, it can't be that. It'd have had to have hit a tree, if that's it. What what tree? What what tree has that hit? You're just wasting my time here. Oh no, it's not. That's not it. My, my three minutes haven't started yet. <laughs> You're 35 seconds in. Where are you? Fairway, mate. There. <laughs> it can't be in that bush. I think, to be honest, mate, that's the only place it can be. Well, it's a good job we didn't try and play two more holes in it, guys. We'd never have got them in. What are you doing? I'm going to have a look in the bush. All right. Where's yours? We'd have got three more holes then. He's not using the Kirkland, you'd have left it by now. Oh, I've got one here, what ball was it? Tireless one? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Well, you've, got, you've just kicked it out of the bush. Well, no, I'm going to take a drop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving up yet. I can go as far back online with pin as I want, can't I? <laughs> 
Oh, I hope the battery's dying, I'm my faith in humanity. I'm going to drop it here. Right. Don't need to... I'm not used to doing this, actually. Right, big shot required. 150. Oh, dear. We could have literally played three more holes. It is 150, that, isn't it? Is that 200 or 150? 250, I think. No, it's not. What is it? 150, you donut. We're going to be on the clock here. The ref's going to disqualify us. What are you doing? I'm keeping an eye on that big conifer there. Right, so it's just left of this tree with a little bit of fade, the highest tree. That is mental. You know, the, the shot is left of this, isn't it? It's crazy. That's the line. That is the line. That is awesome. If it's the distance. My only issue is I've hit eight from 150 and it could be slightly long. Long, I thought, yeah, I suppose, yeah. But that was a great pickup, though. That were the I'd line. say it was worth the wait, but nothing would have been worth it. Even if it had gone in, it wasn't worth that wait. But maybe I can see it just left of the bunker, right of the bunker there. It's a chance, mate, isn't it? You're there for three then? Yeah. Really goes to show how. Um, like miss hits can be affected with this driver because earlier I was down there though it's colder now and darker but so really unless you hole your chip par should win it shouldn't it well yeah it should do when I aim it at your car with a bit of draw it looks a long way from here though it does doesn't it that's why I've got six stay right. there stay there could be a little bit left front edge yep oh I'm going to battle this year. Front edge. I'm going to battle this year. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to give you anything so easy. Huh? Well, guys, that's a great shot from you from back there. Which one's me, the short one? Yeah, you're here, mate. Hey. And I'm just kind of putting up that slope, hopefully. I... So you've had three, I've had two. Yeah, that's me. I'm going to go pitching wedge because they check up them wedges, don't Yeah, they, they do quite a bit, yeah. I might even go nine, you know. Little bump and run into that nine. It's going nine iron. Just need to miss left edge of your ball really. Right. Stop, stop. Oh no. It's not a bad shot, mate, realistically. I mean, it had to go in, didn't it? So you had to get it there. I think pitching wedge would have been a better choice. Literally dark now, isn't it? You can't see. No. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what do you mean, ooh? <laughs> That's a great shot, that. It is a good shot, but I'm not giving it you. Sound. You're going to have to tap it in. You have to go, mate. Imagine birdie in the first. It's all ahead of you, looking like you're going to storm to a victory. And now you have to hold this, not to lose. Or just one bad drive, really, weren't it, in fairness? Yeah. I'd have hit a freewood if you'd got one. They don't do one yet. <laughs> ah. I was honestly thinking, please don't go in. But that does go to show that you would have hit three wood, but you're really confident with your fitted driver. So you are just that guy, aren't you? You know, has to be fitted to work. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> just for your time, mate. Well done. Thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs>